Um, one of the observations that Helen McNamara makes in her witness statement, and in fact that she expanded on in evidence yesterday, uh, is the last sort of five or six lines of this paragraph we're looking at. Um, she, of course, is, is talking about her experience um, of dealing with officials and um, politicians in number 10. But she said this, I don't remember anyone working in the center or who was part of the conversations who had a detailed understanding of the way the NHS operated. This is not unusual or unique. And she talks about the fact that social areas of policy are less well represented in Downing Street than military, national security type matters. Mm -hmm. Interested in your um, views on that from, with your experience of long experience of dealing with politicians, but perhaps particularly um, that period during the pandemic, did you feel there was, as it were, a deficit in their understanding of the granular way in which the NHS works? I think Helen's description seems to me accurate, particularly as regards the Cabinet Office. The extent to which the Prime Minister's Office, number 10, has health expertise is to some extent a function of how the Prime Minister of the day chooses to staff their number 10 policy unit. Um, during the pandemic itself, I think there is truth in what she says, um, but to some extent, as long as that doesn't lead to ill-informed second-guessing of the decisions that people in the NHS are actually trying to take, that need not in itself be a problem.